it's Christmas Eve I'm with my family in a small town in southern Wisconsin, and I hear a, a little buzzing in the other room. So I go check out my phone. I pick up my phone and I look at it, and there's half a dozen texts and missed calls, and it's from my boss. Working at a corporate job, and it being Christmas Eve, you take the call. So I picked up the phone and I called her back and I said, what's going on? And she says, have you been to the website? I'm like, it's Christmas Eve, I'm with my family. She said, go check the website out. So I type in the website address and it, there's nothing there. So on Christmas Eve, if you have nothing, if your website is not up, if it's offline, that can be a problem, but there's not a lot of people who are gonna be necessarily shopping for your business on Christmas Eve. But when you have over 400 websites that you're responsible for and they're all down, you need to do whatever it takes to take care of that and make sure everything is done right. You need to write the situation. So she said, I don't care who you need to talk to. I don't know. I don't care what you need to do. You make this, you fix this. And so she hung up the phone and I went to work. And that's what I want to talk to you tonight about is demon dialing and relentless follow through. This is lacking so much in 99% of the people who are you're working with. If it's in a team, if it's your own company, if you're working a job, this just people don't do this. Applying this to your work will elevate everything. It's going to surprise some people, it's going to scare some, shock some, intimidate some and make some people very uncomfortable. But going through and doing this is really going to up level. It's going to elevate everything you do. It commands respect from your peers and your superiors, your, your vendors, your, your clients. Everyone will start to see you in a different light because you're the person who takes action and never stops. You become the person that people depend on to get things done. If you are looking to be recognized in that next position, this is what you do because no one else is doing it. And when you do, people step out of your way. The, the respect you command gets people to follow through and do what you tell them to do. I'm just saying this very bluntly because this is what happens. There's so few people that lead. When you actually the person that just does it, you get the answer, you get whatever you need, and you don't stop, people stand out of your way or people help you. The most common action in humanity is waiting. How many of us, myself included, have been guilty of just waiting? You ask a question, put it out there. Or you ask someone to do something and you're just waiting for that email back. That's what 99% of people do. If you want to take your business to the next level, you don't do that. Following what I'm about to show you here, is going to change your life and revolutionize your business. Our teammates, boss, vendors, friends, and employees, everyone is going to look at you differently. In business, I call this professional procrastination. We just put it out there and we just check back in. Right? I'm just checking in, just seeing how it's going. I know it's been a week. Your, your business is going to grow at a glacial pace if you don't follow this, this lesson, this, this strategy here. Leaders who get things done follow through until the end. You know, you've heard it's not over until I win. It's not over until this is done. And I'll tell you, I got to give credit to Mary Ellen Torres, the woman she was so tough to work for, but I did my best work with her because I understood that she demanded the best of me. And in, in college and in high school, I remember those teachers, those mentors who demanded the best of me. And when you demand the best of yourself, like other people that demand the best of you, that is when you step into the new you, that higher level you. So what is this demon dialing? It's doing whatever it takes to get the information, the access, or the decisions you need. Just it doesn't matter if you, you have to text them, email them, call them, call their assistant, call their supervisor, call someone who works down the hall, drive over there, get creative. 
However, you need to get a hold of that person, you will figure out a way. If you know they're staying at a hotel or you find out that there's a convention that they're at, you're going to find out who's running that convention and you're going to get a hold of them. It's doing whatever that takes. And when you do that once, you feel this power that you realize, oh my gosh, I've been able to do this all along. I just stopped too early and I waited on other people. When you wait on other people, they become the CEO of your business. I'm waiting for my web designer to get back to me. They're now controlling your business. They're governing the speed of the growth of your business. Stop waiting for people. And you don't stop until you get an answer. Most people send an email and let a week go by. I tell you, I'm, I'm working with a few companies right now. And one of the things my job is to make sure things keep moving forward. You need to be politely persistent. This isn't being a jerk or an ass. This is you making sure, all right, when is this getting taken care of? Let's move this along. Let's move this along. When you do that, things go from that really slow pace to start ramping up really quick. It's great to put in the long hours. As an entrepreneur, that's expected. But when you ask people to play at this level that you're playing at or move or find another vendor or another partner, this is where things really take off. You've heard of the movers and shakers. Who are these movers and shakers? They're the people that move things forward and shake things up, shake people awake. When you start doing this, people are it's going to command respect of people. So if you've ever done a high intensity interval training, the person who's running that workout, be like that person at your office. What would that do? Think about when they jump, you say how high and how many times? Why? Because they command the respect of being that leader. So if you were to take that principle, that mindset into your business, being a great person to be around, being just, you know, just being very um, grateful for the people that work with you, but demanding their, demanding them respect themselves and the position they're in. When you do that, they're going to play their best game. If you hear about people who had worked at Apple when Steve Jobs is running it, they'll say he was so demanding, so difficult to work with, but I did my best work of my whole profession there. What does that mean? As a leader... You can have those really high standards and demand the best of people, but you don't have to be the jerk about it. Be firm, demand the best of people, and also respect them and reward them and recognize them. You can do both. 1% of people are doing this. So think about the people you're doing business with right now, the people you're working with that are on your team. Is anybody doing this? There may be a one or two or three people you know out of everybody who you work with. And relentless follow through. Always follow through and do it quickly. I, I can't, I, I can't believe how many people have a lead generation on their website or their phone call. And I'm, I'm calling a service provider, and it's literally been like a day or two, and they haven't responded back to me. If you have a chat bot on your website, I'm expecting you to respond to me in minutes. If I send you an email, I'm expecting you to respond to me within the hour. If I call you and I leave a message, if I know you're open, you need to be calling me back the next available time you have. People are expecting this. And when you don't step up to that level of performance in service, people will remember that and they will not call you again. They will not contact you a second time. So how many times have you called a plumber or an electrician and didn't get a call back? How can they keep business going like that? They're, maybe they're in demand right now, but you can't run a business that way for a long time. So... Get used to responding within minutes. You see him missed a call because you were on another call? See who it was and call him back. Hey, I just received a phone uh, a call from this number. If it's some spammy thing, hang up. But you're the person who is relentless in following through with people. Your prospects are not going to wait for you. They call you once. They email you once. They're going to send you a text once. And unless they are being persistent because they really, truly want to work with you because you are something special, they're going to do it once, they're going to wait, and then they're going to move on. They're going to keep shopping. You have to work and respond at the speed that people shop, which is super fast. This is the one big decision that is different, differentiating you between you and the Titans. Let me read this. This is, the, this is one of the big differences between you and the Titans you respect. So you think about, like people I respect, 
Grant Cardone, yeah, for business, for real estate, he's, he drives, he demands the best of people. Obviously, Steve Jobs is another one. Elon Musk, politely demanding, right? The people you really respect, think about them, the people that move their business forward, they, they literally are moving their business forward through getting people to take action consistently, quickly, and move on to the next task and the next task. This is about persistence. If you can be politely persistent, demand the best of people, smile, and just be a great person to be around as well, you'll have the best of both worlds. You will have people who are loyal to you and loyal to themselves in the position they're in. So I added a word here. We help elite level coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs expand their reach and elevate their online and offline presence with minimal time and effort on their part. I added elite here, and that is for you to choose for yourself. Do you want to be in that elite class? Are you a leader right now? People see you as a leader, but no, you know there's another couple levels that you're not playing at right now. This strategy right here, the demon dialing and the relentless following through, this will change everything for you. If you're doing 100,000 a month, you're doing a couple hundred thousand a month and you're not doing this, when you start doing this and you're pleasant to be around as well, it changes everything. If you are looking to up-level everything you have online, all of your graphics, all of your videos, all of your posts on social media, I take you on as a client. And when you look at the word client and what that meant in the attorney client privilege, that attorney was protecting their client. I protect my clients. I protect your brand. I protect your identity. I protect your message. We're not doing Fiverr just throw the stuff out there because you're supposed to do a post. That stuff is going to die faster than people realize. It has to be about quality. It has to be about depth and meaning. So when you invest in yourself through us, you are investing in legacy media that is going to last beyond you. I've already had one amazing client that their, their message and their media out there has surpassed them. They've actually passed on and their media is still working for them. So you can, you can run your Facebook ads. You can have a call center. You can do your outbound calling. You can, um, you can do the, the quick fiver thing. But at some point, no matter what level you're playing at, there's a part of you you want to have stay out there. They're going to be on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram stuff. You're going to have a legacy out there that's going to go on beyond your productive years. I want to be the person who takes your message, makes it super clear and concise and consistent and gets that out there everywhere beautifully with cinema cameras, multiple angles, B-roll. You and your legacy deserve this. If this is you, go ahead and schedule a call with me. Go to ascendmedia.com forward slash call. That's A-S-Y-N-D media.com forward slash call. Thanks again for being on tonight. Hope this serves you. Put it to use and watch how you revolutionize your business. Take care.